Wow. Um, across this time that you are at GSK and at, at, at Bayer, does, are there any life uh, events that are happening for you as well? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I got married in 2006. Mm-hmm. And then I had my first child in 2007. Mm-hmm. So that time I was in Kavi. Mm-hmm. And I remember in Kavi, yes, I, now that you mentioned, mm. We were on contracts, mm-hmm. yearly contracts. Mm-hmm. And I remember I was basically pissed to say uh, December 31st is the last day of that year. Right. So even when trying to get a credit card, mm. I couldn't get a credit card mm. at that time mm. because of that. Because they say you are a high risk because you yeah, contract, credit. even though you've been working four years yeah. with that bank. Yeah. So even when I got my current credit card, I remember the person had to fold that place because it's at the bottom. Mm for me to get in, you, know, you need a credit card to travel. Mm. Um, then I got, when I got my child, so we didn't have maternity leave yet, the three month one. Mm. It came just before I got my son. Mm-hmm. And um, I remember the, the the university refused to grant me maternity, the three months. Mm. Cause they said you're on contract, mm. but they don't say it. Like I went to the office, I actually took my one month old son. Mm. And went to the university's lawyer mm. it was a lady mm. and told her how do you think i'll work with this one month old <laughs> so you know lawyers being lawyers she's like no go and refer to your to your, your contracts contract, yeah. uh, so mm. they do, they won't say no because mm. they know they are floating the law and yeah. i remember going up to fke because i say this is an injustice yeah that's uh, my human rights i've always been a human rights there yeah and um i didn't get my three months mm-hmm. But I found a way of working with my colleagues mm. and my boss was gracious enough. Mm. So I took leave of the next year earlier. Mm-hmm. Mm. So I combined them one month mm. and, and then, because I'd taken, I'd left one month's leave for mm-hmm. that year. Mm. He was born in December. Mm. So I still got my three months, but mm-hmm. it meant when I reported, I never had leave days. Mm-hmm. But after that, they changed all the all the women who came after me got their three months. Oh, nice. Yeah. So that's that's how I got my son. Culture changing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Then mm-hmm. I got the, I have triplets. They mm-hmm. were born 2010. Mm-hmm. And I was in GSK, mm-hmm. and that was also monumental. Yeah, mm-hmm. because. You know, at some point you have to stop traveling. Yeah. So I you mean, can remember, yeah, I yeah. love my travels. Yeah. So the doctor was like, no, no more traveling after 24 weeks. Yeah. Which is very early if it were a single ton. Yeah. And um, the other thing was they came early. Mm. And no, our insurance was not covering preemies. Actually, right now, that's another thing. Mm-hmm. Most insurances don't cover preemie births. So mm-hmm. any child born before 38 weeks mm. is considered a preterm. Mm. so they don't cover so you can imagine you have three preterms mm. and you don't have a medical cover but mm. we had a fund mm. so they allowed me they actually paid off mm. and then they allowed me to get deducted mm. from my salary until I finished they mm. paid 50 percent I paid the other 50. Mm. yeah so that that was that was monumental mm. and then now during my when I got my divorce when I was in Keme which was now after oh, bear. Oh, which was after? After bear, yeah. After bear? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, so which, which, what were the years that you en- that you left bear? Bear I left in 2013, December 31st. Okay. All right. I remember because it was a, it was an amicable separation, let me put it that way. Yeah. Because again, it was just office politics that yeah. ended up being um, false accusation. Uh-huh. So they we settled out of court. Oh, it was to that extent. Yes, it was bad. It was bad. Oh, mm. if, if if you don't mind, just for awareness, especially mm. in this development mm. sector, mm. Um, by the time an issue is getting to that extent, mm. um, what has happened? <laughs> I think it's just how the organization would handle it, mm-hmm. because ideally you should have different layers of uh, conflict resolution. Right. Unfortunately, for this, in this instance, they made a decision based on hearsay mm. and um, without an option of arbitration or without an option of resolving it. Mm-hmm. So, 
uh, looking at the policies, HR policy, they broke basically their own HR policy mm. on, on, on conflict resolution mm. and also the Employment Act. Right. And you know, one day they wake up and tell you, you don't have a job. Mm. Yeah. So when that happens, then you resolve to legal action. Mm. But we we managed to settle a lot of court. Out yeah. of court. Right. Yeah. And right. I think now later they realize their mistake. But by then I had really been treated like a paria mm. Mm, when the investigations are going on and mm. stuff. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So I think that's the time I realized I'm very sensitive to words. Mm-hmm. Like you can deny me food mm. okay, except the ugali of my sister. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you can deny me like I'm not a material person. Yeah, yeah. But words really yeah. um, break me. Yeah, yeah. And I had a lot of reflection. Yeah. Because some of the words were written because it was a 360 degree review mm-hmm. on who I was. Mm. And some of the words that were written were really cutting. Mm-hmm. I think it was just malice, but not of malice. Mm-hmm. And, and that deflated me completely. Mm. And I remember when I when I read that report, I was like, who am I? Because these people are saying, they're describing a totally different person. Mm. The ones are objective. Mm. And then this other, because it's anonymous, so you can't mm. tell. But mm. you can you can know from the relationships mm. who's uh, putting in some of those comments. Mm. So I've learned to to be aware that that's one of my blind spots mm. about words. Mm. I'll even know whether you use a full stop or mm. an mm. exclamation or you put a cap so you mm. didn't put a cap. So mm. I'm just very, um, mm. there's something about me and words. Mm. Um, so I remember driving up the road, Valley Road, now on 31st December, not 31st, mm-hmm. the day now I was told that we, I mean, we, the time will end. Mm-hmm. Eh? I think it was before they broke for Christmas. Mm. And I was crying and I called my dad. Mm. And I was like, these guys have fired me. I think for me it was more the injustice mm-hmm. than losing a job. Mm. And um, I remember he told me, yes, you may have lost your job, but they have not taken your brain. Mm. And I think for me that was a game changer. After mm. that I said, I'll never be so, so dependent mm. on an employer. Mm that if anything happened i don't know what to do with mm. myself yeah mm. Mm. yeah so first january to april i had no job mm. but they had paid me 10 10 months worth of salary ah uh, so that was a settlement yeah that was a settlement mm. Mm. and that was a lot of money because mm. i was earning a very good pay at that time mm. so i had money so i was not broke mm. but i didn't have a job mm. And you know, when you don't have a job, that's when people don't call, pick your calls. Eh? Mm. All mm. these people who are your friends when you had money and mm. whatnot. Mm. So you keep on asking people, or, you know, people don't answer emails, they don't pick your calls. But I was now an official of Kenya Medical Association. Just before you even move from there, mm. by the time this 360 is coming, mm. were you, had you seen it coming? I mean, you were medical director, mm. so no. you you were part of the leadership mm. team. You must have also been doing 360 reviews mm. for others and for each other, mm. each of the leadership team yourself. Mm. Um, it, reviews are not just done at the end of the no. year. So, were there signs? No, in had fact, you done in uh, June? Right. I was exceeding performance. You exceeding performance in yes. June. Yes, my, my ratings. Metrics. Yes, <laughs> across all metrics. My re- my rating. I had placed Africa on the map of that company. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we were. We started our first. Um, we had a multi-country trial for a drug that we were introducing. Across all the thirty-six. No. Or a number of them. And. It was, we saw in Nairobi, mm-hmm. a Kenya, Kenya. rather, mm-hmm. but it was multi-region, mm-hmm. like the EMEA region, right. a European region, and mm-hmm. Africa, where we struggled to even fight to get that, because yeah. they didn't believe we had proper research Inter- yeah. infrastructure. Okay. We were the first ones to roll off that trial. Mm-hmm. We were the first ones to, my medical, I was the first one to introduce an, an information system. Mm. So I was really hitting those targets. Huh? Mm-hmm. I usually tell people I'm a very good employee. In mm. fact, I used to say I can't do business, but see my mm. life now. Mm. <laughs> so I think when I give something a hundred percent, I give something like a one twenty percent. So yeah. I was exceeding. Mm. Yeah, I was mm-hmm. four point something out of five. Okay, great. And then that's June. Mm-hmm. 
then come october you get this call oh we've had this and that we are going to investigate and it was more of subjective like you know someone said oh they don't feel they know what they're doing and it was someone who's new someone had employed in my team your peer or your no my direct reports okay. I, mm -hmm. I, I, I brought them into my team mm. So the investigations now happen between October and December. Mm. Yeah, so from 4.5 now I became this person. That's who, under investigation. Who cannot work with other people, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, so that's... Right. That was quick. Zero to 100. <laughs> 100 to zero. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that that's what happened. Mm. But we're still good friends. I think they, they learned... They even called me back for that job. Mm. I told them now. I'm such a relational person mm. that I would not go back to somewhere where I was treated like mm. even if you give me all the money I mm. I, 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 I value relationships mm. and I, I I value how you make someone feel mm. yeah they didn't they they they, they didn't treat me right mm. I say. right yeah so so my dad told me you still have a brain okay mm. yeah so but then mm. People no. leave you. Yeah. People don't answer calls. Yeah. Now you're at K KMA.